Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Brando Free to Play, and I want to welcome you to my channel, especially if you are a new viewer. Now, this channel has, for the most part, always been focused on a mobile game called Lords Mobile. And I am a free to play player in this game. So, what does that kind of mean? So, that means that I do not spend money on this game, and I have also been able to find some success in that game. I also make a lot of videos which give a lot of people tips, tricks, some guides onto how to be successful in this game. But for today's video, I'm going to show you guys a little behind the scenes magic on how I edit my videos to be ready to be posted up on YouTube. Now, before I go ahead and get into that, I want to go ahead and mention that this video is sponsored by a fantastic company called Skillshare. There is a online learning community that has thousands and thousands of fantastic online video courses and classes. Now, these video classes range from anywhere like business anywhere in technology, things like how to be, how to take better photo photographs, you know, if you're, you're into photography, if you're into video editing, 3D editing, whatever kind of skill that you want to improve on or a skill that you want to learn, this website has a video for it. Now, I know for me, as a YouTube creator, I know that my skills in thumbnails and general graphic design is it, 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 they're they're not that great right so they have classes for thumbnails right so let's just search for thumbnails and right away they have classes right here now let's go ahead and let's click on how to make better youtube thumbnails quote unquote professional youtube thumbnails and you can see here this is a fairly short um uh, series of videos right there there's like five videos very easy to consume there's even a mobile app where you can watch all of these on the go whether you're on the bus whether you're at work and you have some time you know some spare time you can put it in the background and you can just learn and you know how to do new great fantastic things here are some of the examples here of some of the projects that other people have done i mean these are just fantastic great stuff right and of course this does range from just anything to do with creativity business technology and lifestyles right this is fantastic and it's affordable in my opinion, right? If you go for the one year package, it is about 10 bucks a month. But luckily, Skillshare has given me the ability to offer you guys, my viewers, a special discounted link. Now, if you click on the link below, you will get two months free if you use that link to register your new Skillshare account. So the app that I'm going to be giving you guys a quick guide on how to use is called Filmora Go. This is a free mobile app that is available for both Android and iOS devices. All right, now this is a very easy to use tool. Um, well, it's pretty easy for me because as you guys kind of already know, I probably am not the most, um, how can I call it? Um, I guess a video editor-ish type of uh, person. I've never really learned that skill before. I'm definitely gonna be using Skillshare to kind of further enhance uh, the little bit of knowledge that I do have to make better videos. 
But Filmora Go is actually very, very simple to use. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little rundown of how it actually works. Now, uh, you want to start off by making a new video. So you click on the Create New Video. Now, right out the bat, you will be taken to the Video tab. Now, these are all of the videos that you have on your mobile device. Now, um, as you guys can see, I have a bunch of, little, bunch of different folders for videos that are just in different areas of my phone. Now, I want to go ahead and let's go ahead and look at some of my Lord's Mobile videos. You guys can see here I have my Lord's Mobile videos still saved on my phone. Now, these are the raw recordings without any editing done to them. So let's go ahead and click on it, and then let's go ahead and kind of listen in. You guys can hear this is my general um, intro, right? And one of the cool things about Filmora Go is let's say you only want to make like a montage type of a video where you only want the action, right? So you can do that, right? You can just kind of fast forward, come on, fast forward to wherever you want this video to start from. So if you want the video to start from, let's say right here, right before I hit to view the battle, you can actually edit that video to only be a minute and 53 seconds long compared to the, what, six minutes that it was before, kind of giving the explanation to the video but sometimes people only want to see the action of the video. So this is how you can go ahead and get it done this way. And you guys can Let's see go where it's going to go and, and play. Uh, let's kind of see how this actually works and why it kind of works. Now, I don't know about you guys. So I'm going to go ahead for, for and click reason, add, right? There, you need to add that file to it. So that way it is right here. Now, I can also go back and add more video files if I want to make like uh, video after video with transitions in there. That's probably gonna be something that I'm gonna talk about in a different video uh, where I go more in depth on Filmora Go. For today's video, I'm really gonna be just going over how I edit the majority of my own videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and click next. All right, right out the bat, you guys can see that uh, the way that I record my video isn't the most optimal way, right? The raw video just isn't in 16 by 9, which is uh, kind of YouTube recommended, right? So what I do is I click down here on the ratio. Now you can change the ratio, you know, uh, since I have a Samsung S8 Plus, the ratio isn't 16 by 9. It's like 18 by something. That's why it kind of got blown out a little bit. So in order for me to bring it down, I need to cut some of the corners up on top and I added a blur effect instead of just a black background, okay? Um, really, actually, very simple to do. Very, really, really simple things to do here, okay? Now, if you didn't want to do anything to it, right, and you just want a raw video, right, you can do something like adding a theme to a video. Now, the themes, in my opinion, um, would be great in something like a scenery video or a video where it is just no talking and you are just displaying you know a lot of action a lot of fighting all right so let me go ahead and let me pick one that i think would look pretty cool let me select winter right and then it adds some music in the background and it gives you that wintry feel right it is a little bit loud, so we can change the audio on here as well. Not, no, not, not voiceover. It is audio mixer, so we can lower this quite a bit, right? We can even mute it so that there's no audio. And the only thing that's playing is the music that that theme gives us. And we can also lower that music. So if you look at that, and it's playing in the background how it would look once you process the video. This looks actually really, really cool, right? Really awesome stuff here. But um, we're not going to go ahead and add any of this stuff because, um, you know, themes aren't really what I normally do. You can do it. I'm just showing you guys that it is an option for you. Okay. Now, normally what I do is, in this case, 
I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio. You're, I'm going to mute my voice, right? I'm going to click OK here, and I'm going to add music to the background. So same thing. You click on music, and then you click this little plus icon, right? You go to your library. This is all the music that you have. Now, one thing that I want to make very important, right? If you do plan on making a video and posting it on YouTube, you need to make sure that it is copyright free music. Now, I do have some copyright free music that I downloaded from a YouTube channel called uh, NCS. That's what I searched them up for, their non copyright sound. All right. Great, fantastic channel. They upload consistently lots and lots of great non copyrighted music. All right. One of my go to favorites this year has been Sim. Uh, Symbolism Electro Light, right? You guys can hear it. It's a pretty cool song, right? So what I do is I click OK. All right. Now, one of the really awesome things about Filmora Go is I can change uh, when the music will start playing. Like, let's say I want the music to start playing, I don't know, five seconds into the video, right? I can do that. Right. Let me hit play. And it'll be silence for five seconds. And then around the five, six second mark, you'll hear the music kick in. Yep, there it is. You know, really, really cool. Now, for a lot of people, the default is very, very loud. So again, we can change that in the audio mixer. Now you can change it. Uh, for me, my personally, I have found, especially if I'm talking, to leave it at around six to seven percent. Right, but since I'm not talking, um, let's go ahead and see how ten percent sounds. Right, because at a hundred percent, it is extremely loud, and sometimes it'll distort the audio because of just how loud it is. And right now, the background music, for me at least, it's barely audible, which is exactly what I want in a video. So I'm going to click OK. Now, in this video, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do something that I normally don't do. Um, I'm going to add a title, right? So let me add a preset. So let's see here. Um, did I pick the right one? Did I pick title? Titles, yes, I did. Preset, let's do this right here. Tap to add title, so let me type in Grim Reaper. Oops, I misspelled that. There it is, Grim Reaper. Okay, done. So now look at what happens. Lord's Mobile Grim Reaper comes up in the beginning of the video. And then the music kicks in. I mean, that's, that's just awesome, right? So let's go ahead and click OK. Leave it like that. One of the things that we could also do, which is actually pretty cool, is we can add an overlay, a, a picture and a picture. In here so let's say I want to block uh, either the troop composition that I'm using or troop composition of the enemy or I just want to hide something hide something in the chat whatever it is I can put in a picture here right we'll use my logo we can use that put that in the middle or somewhere and I can say how long this this image is gonna stay on the screen right and then you can also change how the image comes into the picture right so we'll do that and it goes away after the set amount of time really really simple things to go ahead and use and really just it, it's pretty basic right it's it's not difficult it's very intuitive everything is here literally at your fingertips right and then to save it usually takes um, if I have a two minute video that I'm making, it'll take on average a minute for it to be saved, which is extremely fast. It is very, very fast. Um, 
if it's a 10 minute video, it'll take around five minutes for it to complete. And you, you know, while it's uh, getting, saving the project and getting everything lined up, that way you can export it or upload it directly to YouTube, you know, you just set the phone down. It doesn't matter if the phone, you know, locks itself or anything like that. It'll still be processing. Um, you do still need to have the app open. That's the only, that's kind of the only downside, at least for me, usually when I try to do something else while it's saving the project, sometimes it won't save correctly and I'll get some error messages and I'll have to save it again. But uh, aside from that, you know, it is a very, very easy, simple tool to use. Um, and there's definitely courses for this on Skillshare. So again, if you guys want to learn more, just more information, more skills, or better improve your skills for whatever it is that you do for a living or a hobby, Skillshare is a great place to go ahead and learn some stuff. And again, with the link in the description below, you get two months free. So why not, right? So right now it is finishing up. It didn't take too long. It didn't take about a, it took a, maybe about a minute to go ahead and finish, which is around average. And here you can see exactly what it is. Um, you can upload it directly to Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, Tumblr, Facebook, Vimeo, email it. You can preview it, save it directly to your camera and do a bunch of other stuff to it. Normally what I do is I, I upload it straight to YouTube once it's done processing. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. See ya.